Wisconsin is famous for its dairy industry and farm culture, and today, more than ever, consumers want to know where their food is coming from. So when did you decide to make this a farm tour? I went on a kindergarten field trip with my son and we noticed that some of the information that they were uh, presenting to the children wasn't accurate. In fact, Curtis, my oldest, noticed when they said it was a cow, he looked and he says, that's not a cow mom, that's a steer. And I felt that we could do something a little bit more accurate and um, we had the facilities. We uh, started doing tours just for local school groups and then the uh, parents would come out and back then it was, they wanted to see a cow. They wanted to do the whole petting zoo thing. They wanted to feed some goats and this. But now everything's changed. The consumers are coming out. They want to know where their food comes from. They want to know what's happening to their food. They want to know um, facts about, uh, are we putting antibiotics in the feed? What, what's happening? Tell me about this. Tell me about that. And they want to meet a farmer. Before you invite people on the farm, what are the steps that you guys take here? Anybody that is coming onto a farm is a risk. You must have insurance. You must be able to cover your your farm. The vision of what a child sees on a farm is very different than what an adult sees. They're at a smaller, lower angle, and things are more appealing. Everything is overstemmed. There's roosters, there's chickens, there's fence over here that's electric. Um, there's stock tanks to, to climb in. Uh, all different areas. Going into the haymow, are the chutes covered? Everything has to be looked at in the eyes of a child. So when, uh, when I go around the farm in the beginning of the year, and it's every year, any edges that somebody could trip on, whether it's a child or adult, I'm gonna spray it with fluorescent paint so that I can see it, they can see it, and basically we're covered by uh, doing that. We're gonna have signs posted about smoking. We're gonna have areas that are off limits. Caution, hazardous area, authorized personnel. You can just pick them up at a regular hardware store. Having uh, the areas that have chemicals or um, uh, machinery that has points or sharp edges, having those off limits. They can view them, but they cannot go right up close. Um, and just doing a, a, a brief introduction on the rules on your, your farm. Lastly, what do you love most about your life? I love being a farmer. <laughs> Don't make me cry. <laughs> there, is, there is something about loving what you do every single day that gets you up in the morning and makes you feel so proud to be what you are. And I've worked in other fields and I've never had this feeling. The animals care about you, you care about them, and it's definitely a purpose-driven life. <laughs>